Hi, my name's Jo Boswell. I work for Citizens Advice in Manchester and I'm the manager of the Energy Advice team. Um, we have a team of advisors who help and support clients who are having difficulty managing their gas and electricity accounts, whether they've got arrears or they're having troubles with billing issues or, or basically any problem that clients have, we're there to support them. Turning off your lights is the easiest way of saving money in terms of your energy bills. Um, we've been doing some home visits with families recently and all of the family have got involved and um, the children have created star charts for themselves. Um, obviously children love getting a reward so the, the, the two rewards that families that have used is that maybe they've got a little treat at the end of the week but also what they do is, is that the bill payer shows the children how much money they're helping save for the family. Most people have mobile phones nowadays and uh, an easy way to save energy consumption is that when you're charging them, uh, don't leave them overnight. So charge your phone up and then just un unplug it from the wall. Um, same applies for your TVs, uh, Xboxes, Playstations. Easy saving of £30 a year for your family. So some families, when we visited them, have said, how can, how can we save money in the bathroom? Um, easy way is, is have a shower and not have a bath. Um, the, the length of time um, people have a shower is also quite important. It's very easy, if we said in an average family of four, that if everyone had a shower for one minute less, that would save you £40 a year. Um, so maybe for some teenagers that might be 10 minutes less and just think how much you can all save. So most of us like to have a warm drink when we get home from school or work or from shopping. Now what we need to remember to do is that when, we, when we're boiling the kettle, just boil the amount of water that we need to use uh, and not half fill it or fill it to the top. And then if you're washing your cup after, don't just leave the tap running constantly. Just fill the bowl up with the amount you need and then you'll save 50 pounds a year. Most of us control the heating in our home via the thermostat. And what lots of us don't realise is that the best temperature for a living room is 21 degrees. Now if somebody's uh, in really poor health, they may need to have it warmer than that. But for most people, 21 degrees is, is the right temperature for a living room. If you were to look at your thermostat and it was set, for example, on 23, if you reduced the temperature by one degree, you could save yourself 85 to 90 pounds a year. Finally, as well as saving energy at home, what's really important to do is that you check you're on the best available tariff with your supplier. Make sure that you are claiming any eligible benefits, but most importantly, look at switching. So that's switching your supplier. So what we found is that people who've never switched before can save up to £200 a year. So we would urge people to check the tariff, be energy efficient and switch.